Stop yeah. yelling, bro. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm yeah. laughing. You're so loud. Yeah. Stop yelling. You want to break? Yeah. Y'all can be loud. Y'all can be loud. This is why I'm talking to them. Stop talking so loud. Y'all can be loud. It's whatever. All right, we about to hop right. in. Nah, right. he's standing next to me. He's not standing next to y'all. He's so right. mad at turn the volume down. Oh, I can't turn the volume down. <laughs> right. All no, right, here man. we go. I'm not here loud. We got to talk. This is another episode of the Backstage Sports <laughs> Podcast. I'm Joe Connor, and today uh, I know what y'all, y'all. Before y'all, you know, jump off the deep end. JT did not just give up the ghost and say, you know what, you're right about Jordan, and I'm ashamed of myself. He is the second greatest player, and I'm gonna quit. That's not what happened. He didn't quit. Oh uh, JT gosh. is uh, is is <laughs> off working right now. He's doing a, uh, I think he's at a video shoot for one of his singles. Uh, Filling in for JT Harker today is my brother, Lynn Jackson. So thank you for coming through and filling in straight out of Philly. Yeah, yeah. And he, he in the city right now. So this is, a, this is a doubly special day because not only do we got my brother filling in for JT, but this is an all Philly uh, uh, panel today, okay? Oh, yeah, sir. yeah, yeah. This is, this, is, this is all Philly panel today. So we got, um, we got a, a very special guest today. Uh, we have uh, some phenomenal individuals as human beings, but also phenomenal musicians and producers and artists. Uh, they work with all types of your favorite, all types of names from your favorite artists, uh, Neo, Rick Ross, Miguel, TLC, mm. Beyonce. Mm. Uh, they're mainly known mm. for that, that big record that they had for uh, uh, John Legend, Baby Tonight. Like that, John. Mm. Uh, uh, we got Grammy nominated, a uh, uh, platinum record producing duo from my hometown of Philly, Fat Boys, aka Butter and Biscuit. Welcome to the show, bro. What's up? Yeah. What's up? Welcome to the show, bro. Yeah. It's the way I talk, bro. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good, good, man. Good, good. Thanks for coming on. So, uh, everything is weird and a new normal. What is this? Yeah, what is it, right? So it's a new normal and, and a new weirdness for everybody in the industry. Uh, so mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about what's the new normal for you guys right now and, and what, are, what are you guys working on? Um, and, and tell us, you know, a running theme that we've been having with a lot of the guests uh, for the past couple of weeks is what is, what is something that is, a, that is a new trait, a new thing that you guys pulled out of this, this shutdown and this pandemic for you? Like what something... That is uh that is new that you a new muscle that you guys have been flexing, uh if anything during this uh pandemic. Uh well for me uh DJing, like I've been getting oh more, wow like really going in uh more on like understanding like like the art and yeah. uh, and like downloading a bunch of uh songs that are like that are out now and then also old school uh, classics you know and then figuring out different playlists and how to really mix them and match them up together so yeah I'm really focusing on doing stuff like that. That's dope. You like cuss and talk about bad things on here and all that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah, whatever. Get it off your chest. Oh, we, Man, I became a super stoner, bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey <laughs> what you got to do? Okay, do it was super do. Stoner. But I did like get into my acting bag a little bit, a, a lot more. This is during whoa, this. I like that. I like that. So what's what's the situation with that? What have you been uh, doing? I've been doing some heavy like YouTube, uh, YouTube comedy stuff with my uh, man, the fake Tyree. So. That's been dope. Doing, mm. doing some some acting and doing some shooting and yeah. Also, I I just uh I'm uh playing saxophone on the in the Chase Bank commercial out that's out right now. Hey man, mm. get that commercial money, bro. Dude. That's where it's at. Get that. Get that. I always tell people when I was younger, I used to see actors that I knew in commercials and think that they would they fell off or that they was going through hard times and yeah. stuff. Yeah, y'all stupid. And, and, and then and then I got oh man how wrong was I? Then I, I got older and I was like how much you make I moved to LA that's what it was LA I, that's I moved what to changed. LA and I and I have some a bunch of actor friends now and now I'm like how much did you make from one commercial how can I get down like how can I get on with this commercial bag you know what I'm saying so yeah kudos to you with with, with uh, flexing that muscle um 
So what what are you guys working on uh, musically right now? Like, do you, are you guys um, in the studio? Do you guys any any new records coming out? Are you per, are you working on anybody's new project that you can speak of? Because you know when you got uh, when you got dudes on that that's you know you doing real shit when you can't talk about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we have a lot of those guys where it's like I, they they sign the NDA. So hey, if, man, you, I, I, if you can't, can't, talk, wait about I can't it, talk about it, can't talk about something, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So if you can talk about it, what is some some music project that you guys got got coming up? Yep. Well, we've got out. You heard the Eric Bellinger. Uh, <laughs> okay. We just came out with uh, the Turn 3 album. Okay, dope. We okay. did Organic on it. Okay. Uh, number 7. Okay. And he did a video to that. Uh, he did a video to the whole album, actually. But yeah. Yeah, I, I know that's one of those standouts, you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. So we want people to we definitely want people to check that out. Um, okay, so it's a lot going on uh this week in the sports world and that went on this past weekend. So let's get into it. Uh so the first thing, I don't know if you guys watch this game or not, um, but the B Hop catch was probably one of the craziest catches if you didn't see it. Um if you're watching would say it again. I wish I saw the whole game. I wish I saw the to the end of the game, but Man, the I seen that. But it was like, yeah. all right. I wish I saw the whole Listen, game. And I saw that. Listen, yeah, bro. I, I, I don't think I don't think anybody watches interconference games though. You know what I mean? The oh, yeah. was like an NFC versus AFC, John. I ain't. Yeah. I ain't even watch it. Nah. No, I, I caught the end of the game because I thought I, yeah. I thought it was over. You know what I'm saying? It was one of the last games on, and they had a the Bills had a crazy comeback situation so i'm thinking like okay it's a wrap that was it and then yeah. something just told me like just check out the last play and i i'm i'm pretty sure that kyler murray just was like he down there somewhere like like hopkins is down there somewhere you somewhere. know that like, like, that's crazy like, you think that was more on <laughs> kyler or was that more on the hop i listen think, listen i'm not gonna lie the way he got out the pocket though because he, you know he had saying? to get out yeah. the pocket just to no, even make it and it's, I, it's, <laughs> Yeah, and, and he was almost about to cross the line of scrimmage before he even threw the pass. So, I mean. Yeah, that was all for yeah, six. Yeah, the thing yeah, is, yeah, the yeah, catch, yeah. to me, to me, you got three balls around you when you're catching this ball. That's that, bad. To, that, to me, is the, that's, that's that's the highest degree, degree of difficulty to me. Think, yeah. look, if they, they had to put their hand up or something, like, it's three of them. It's three of them. <laughs> he, like, he, he nasty, but damn, bro. Exactly. I you what? He needed this catch because that on the other side, the kid, uh, I think his name Christian Kurt, I think his name is. Yeah, yeah. He's taking a lot of he's taking a lot of touchdowns from him. So I think he needed this for his legacy, man. Yeah, you know, yeah. We I mean, starting to forget about B Hop over there. Yeah, a little that's bit. my like forever that's catch of the year, for real. Yeah, that was that, that was insane. Easily the easily the catch of the year to me. Uh, so we we got to see a, a bunch of uh, you know uh, quarterbacks that are in the MVP race going at it. And we're going to see uh, two of them go head to head this this week, this right? So Thursday, Thursday is going to be uh, Kyler versus Russ. Um, so it, it really, it really like begs the question, like who's the MVP front runner for, for y'all right now? Like, um, because it was, it was, it started out as Russ and then Russ yeah. kind of had, Russ has kind of regressed a little bit. Um, Kyler is really coming on. Like, if you look at his numbers, his his MVP numbers at the halfway point are comparable to Lamar Jackson's last year when he won the MVP. And I don't think people talk about him. People not really talking about Dalvin Cook in the MVP race either because yeah. it's a whole. You know, we we get so obsessed running with the back. quarterbacks that yeah, we that we forget back, yeah. about Dalvin Cook is winning games by himself. So who do y'all have a, a MVP I'm, front runner? I'm so honest, I do, man. I do. Myself. Say it again. I've just myself yeah <laughs> i've disconnected myself because of how bad the eagles are uh but we gotta talk about go with I this do it. i don't care yeah <laughs> i'm holding on to my super bowl three years four Straight years up. Up. Yes, sir. you and me both bro before they say anything I no well nothing this happened yeah. that still happened yeah. Yeah. The ring out I'm gonna go with um I, I tell you what, man, I think quietly my MVP. Um I still think Russ because of the defense that he's playing with. Yeah. Um and, is it Russell you know, Wilson? Yeah, Russell Wilson. He's play, he, no defense at all. He had the worst defense literally uh, like statistically yeah, right now. Defense defense yeah, um, I have both to say Russell Wilson running backs are running back to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm I'm gonna go with him. But if I don't go with him, I'd probably go with uh I think quietly for a change, A Rod. 
think yeah. Aaron Rodgers. Oh wow. You know what I mean? I can't Real be mad quietly. at Aaron Rodgers. Yes. <laughs> Real quietly. I think he's better than Ben Roethlisberger. I know they undefeated. You know, but, but, they, 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 I do know that. They they have won all their games. So. But that's the thing about about the Steelers, right? And 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 it's funny that you said that, uh, uh butter, because it's kind of an afterthought, I feel like, to a lot of people. Like, are we, are we, are we overlooking the Steelers, or are they a legit? Like, are they really a legit undefeated team, or are they, always, are they un, Huh? I thought they're always legit. Yeah. They, 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 but do you time, take them? Time. Do you take them as a like? You know, for for them to be seven and oh, the best right? team in football. Yeah. yeah like, do you so would down. you do you take them to be like the uh, best team in football? I don't feel like a lot of people do. I, I don't really. I, I, w- I would say I, I think they are. I think they're the best team in football only because of, I think, of like when we've seen the Patriots, when they, when they went, you know, when they went undefeated that, that, that season, yeah. um, that giant Super Bowl was that game. Like, okay, you knew it was going to run out. Yeah. And it ran out that game. I think the Steelers have had about three games, including against us, where it was supposed to run out and it didn't. Yeah. You know, so I think this time of year, as it gets colder, it's more suited for their style of play. So I think yeah. they, I think they're going I think they're going to hit at least like thirteen, like twelve and 0, 13 and oh. Really? Yeah. I just I just down. wouldn't be surprised if like they got <laughs> bounced in like early in the like playoffs the, the, for some the reason. Or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. like like I see they un, I, I'm looking at them on paper and I'm like, yeah, they undefeated. Uh, you know, and and. I, I just don't see them as like you know when the when the Pats went undefeated that year you know what I'm saying and they kind of look like a juggernaut to to people you know what I mean. It seems, it seems like it's pretty much a toss up year of who could be in the Super Bowl. That's how I feel. Uh, I like I like this year's Super Bowl wise. Um, I'm going to go with. I almost said the Bucks. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> NFC. Well, well, you know Drew Brees is hurt. Yeah. yeah, I, yeah which yeah, is yeah, shaky. Hurt which is shaky. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the uh, I'm gonna go with the uh, the Eagles and then uh, <laughs> I'll go with us. Hey, we're number one. Are you we are number biased. one right now? Are you Listen, all we, we gotta do is get the playoffs. We're number one right now. That's all we gotta all we do. do is get the playoffs. What, who are we gonna do with the playoffs? I like us, I like us in Buffalo. Who, who, what is who? Carson going to do in the playoffs? Carson, Carson is not going to do Just much of ball. anything in the playoffs. Exactly. But but Jalen Hurts might be in by then because that, that yeah, I'm, yeah, that's yeah. where I'm at. That's on where I'm at with this ball. Eagles team. Like like uh, yeah. I'm almost at the point where I'm just like just forget it and just let the kids get over start. it. We tried. Let's just move on. His leg broke. His, his leg broke. He ain't coming back. It's cool, man. It's the COVID year. <laughs> We're just moving on to the next. Yeah. Year. <laughs> uh, but that's why I think this year we. This is why, man. This this year you know, we. Yeah, I mean, throw, it's a throwaway <laughs> year, so you know, it's a COVID it. year. You know what I'm saying? It's a COVID year. Like, let's throw Jalen in let's do game. If we make it to the playoffs, just let him start, and let's, let's just, just win. let's just find out what happens. <laughs> let him start to the playoffs. Well, right. listen now. What's interesting though is just last night Nick Foles is hurt, so I I think what uh-huh. happens is like when stuff when he's playing bad, when Nick Foles is playing bad. Carson Wentz is unbelievable. So I'm looking for like since he's Wait, hurt and I'm out. doing this based on him playing on another team. Nick Foles is yeah. not even anymore, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's how yeah. we gotta it's, do it. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's, I know it's weird, but it's like it's the, that chip is still there. So like the fact that like Nick Foles is not in the NFL right now at all. Yo, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 yeah, it follows him. It follows him. It follows him. <laughs> Let's go to next week. See what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 I should. I should have went in there and hurt Nick Foles myself. How, how about that? Bets, man. No, how about that? Oh, I hurt. Oh, I'm gay. It's gay. And guess what? what? We still in first place, so I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it, baby. Take it, baby. Take it. What a tie. What a tie. We in first place. What a tie. Yeah. We still in first place, so I'll take it. So before we, before it's a lot going on in the in the in the NBA, but before we hop to the NBA, it's it's some boxing that's 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 going on and boxing coming up. Um, but the I don't know if y'all saw it was the uh, Terrence Howard, the Terrence Howard Brooks. Uh, Fight was this past weekend. I mean, sorry, Terrence Howard. I'm mine is on somewhere else. Jim, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, Terrence Crawford yeah, Brooks knockout was. You know, I saw that highlight. You read to me. It was pretty dope. So if you're not watching, uh, Terrence got him pretty flush with with his with his right hand. They he got sent back to his corner, and then as soon as he came back, he finished it. It wasn't even. I don't even think they was into it for another five ten seconds before the ref. Um called this guy done um but the big fight that everybody want is terrence and spence you know what i'm saying 
Well, here, here, here's what's tricky about that now. I'm from Philadelphia, and this guy spent. I'm gonna tell you, the luckiest man in the world right now has to be Danny Garcia. Why you say that? Because he's gonna fight Spence next. Oh, okay, okay. So if he if something crazy happened, because you know Spence was just just in a car accident. If yeah. something crazy happened and he beat Spence, all of a sudden the boxing world is in his hand. True. Because that is because true. Because right now he's in the way of the uh the Spence in 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 um in the Crawford fight. Yeah, you know that's true. So if, if some kind of way he can kind of, you know um. You know, like, like you know, make it like a 12-round, like, controversial decision, and then they have to fight again or something like that. Danny Garcia, all of a sudden, that Philadelphia, is, you know, is con- kind of controlling, like, the whole welterweight division again. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, um, it's tricky. It's, 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 it could be, it's, it could be, a, it could be like, a, like a little catch fight for Spence, though. It's tricky. Yeah, Garcia, I, I, got a chance, bro. I, I, I really want to see, I want to see this, this Terrence and, uh, and Spence fight. I, I've been, I feel like it's been a buildup for a while. And um, I feel like I want to wait, man. I don't want to say it. Yet. How long you want to? How long you want? I want because because I want him to have. I think I think Bud Crawford deserves the, the crowd, though. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, fact yeah. That I see what you're saying. Stadiums, I see you know what you're saying. What I, mean? I would rather it, if they can wait to 21. Let's try to see if we can get um if he's going to fight. You know, you know, you know, Manny Pacquiao still in the mix. Yeah, so true. I mean, let's I let guess. let's you know what I'm let's let bro. Uh, Making Pacquiao still in the mix, bro. Wow. <laughs> I mean, so he gonna die. You know, in the I, I, I want the crowd, man. I, you know, I grew up in you know, my first, my first. I grew up in the welterweight division where you know it was Trinidad versus De La Hoya, yeah, Trinidad versus yeah. Mosley. I need, I need that MGM crowd, man. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so I push it back, make them wait, MGM. make them wait, and make them build it up some more. more. Yeah. I just don't want it Let's to be, be I don't want it to be Pacquiao Mayweather, like, you know what I'm saying, where it's like. Yeah, when it, when it should have happened four years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just don't want yeah. that. Speaking of another big fight that got to go down, uh, uh, Wilder and, and Fury. So, Wilder, that? I, that's, what I'm, that's what we're trying to figure out. So, if y'all, didn't, if y'all didn't see, Wilder tweeted at Fury, directly at Fury. We pulled the tweet up if, you, if you're not watching. It's, it's uh, Wilder said, hey, Tyson Fury, add, he added him. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm fine. Bless. The only thing I want from you is for you to honor your agreement and fight me. I gave you two shots. I gave you two shots when I didn't have to, and it changed your life. Now it's time for you to be a man and give me my shot as you agreed. Did he cheat? I mean... Did you see that shit? I seen it. Like... Did you see that shit? So so the the glove went flying... But his hand was in the glove. It was some other shit that was. Oh yeah, I've yeah, seen it. Yeah, so they yeah, looking yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Nah, I see the shit up close. I don't know, man. <laughs> they saw the shit up close. And then, and then Wilder <laughs> said, Wilder said it was something going on with his water, and he felt like they they put something in. after he drunk the water. His leg yeah, was feeling I weak did. or something like that. Like he got date raped or something. I don't know. <laughs> I heard everything from the world. <laughs> wow. wardrobe. First, he said his wardrobe was That's too heavy. I'm sure I All kind of bull crap. Yeah. So, but but it's, it's, it's fight again. You say improve yourself. That, I, I'm kind of. That, that's it's why I'm on Wilder's now. side. Like, you let's do it. I, I make the fight. But what's crazy <laughs> is before they started the fight. Do you remember? What, remember when he was about to do the gloves and they and they turned they like. Covered the cameras and yeah, shit. For yeah, that? yeah. All right, now. Oh, they about to cheat. They about to yeah. cheat. <laughs> this right. is what I want to do, right? This is what I want to say. If I'm a if I'm a fighter and I if I want to fight, if the first thing that comes out your mouth isn't he was a better man tonight and he beat me, then I don't have no respect for you. We had to hear everything from my armor was heavy, I was yeah, having sex during I was training. <laughs> like, have you really earned? Because when you beat him, he didn't say anything. No. Yeah, you're right. He didn't say anything. Oh, he said, you know, and you fought him again. But when you when he beat Shield, it was a whole bunch of, you know, um, it, it, it was everything except for this guy punching my face. Bro, he's embarrassing, bro. You're right. You know? He's trying. <laughs> he's trying. Yeah, so. like, it's I like mean, Trump. It's like Trump, you know, can't it's embarrassment. Can't <laughs> it's embarrassment. He's beating the, the crap out the of only, the, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> only thing I, the only thing I'm with Wilder on is like, bro, let's make this fight. Like let's make the let's make this rematch because he did give you you know what I'm saying your fights let's make this fight and let's and and then we can that's it's it then we can bed, yeah. yeah like we could put it to bed let's make the fight you know what I mean yeah 
So mm. I, I don't I don't get what's what's taking so long with that, but we'll paint in the so okay. So are y'all are y'all getting this Tyson fight? This is the last thing we're gonna talk about boxing Listen, wise. I'm it? getting I, the fight. It's $50. Yes. We doing it. It's, it's yes. Wait a minute. Yes. It's the, now, hold, hang on. They is a belt on the line. Yeah, no, somehow. Not. I don't understand yes, that. Yes, it is. Listen, the WBC is making a belt. They making a belt so called the something, something. Like the old head belt. belt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the old head oh, they making a belt the for this head. thing. So it's it's really starting to turn into a drum. Like, it's, yeah. No, it, they got an undercard. They got an undercard. Nate, 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 Robinson, Nate Robinson is fighting on an undercard. Nate Robinson? He, he, yeah, no lie. He fighting the ball, uh, the, the social media ball. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, uh, yeah Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul. What is that? This is this is on the 28th. If y'all want to come through, also, y'all can come through because we get in the fight. We have it in the backyard, all that. But all right, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Just a second. Hold on. Hang on. Just slow down. <laughs> Nate what? Robinson yeah, Dunk Contest Nate Robinson? Nate Nate yeah. Dunk Contest champion Nate Robinson is on the undercard for the Tyson. He always did fight. think he was tough. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he on it. So they, it's a whole it's thing, though. Bad. It's a whole it thing. They got on the line. They, it's a belt. Yeah. I mean, my belt. thing is, who? When did I? When I, I never thought in my life that I'd be able to say, "Hey, I, I'm, I'm, a, we going I got the Tyson fight at the grid." Like, you know what I'm saying? A like a championship Tyson I'm fight. Cool never thought I'd <laughs> ever say that. It's so cool I'm that. like, I'm definitely saying yeah. it. Like it's Thanksgiving weekend. Let's do it. Like you know what I mean? And then, <laughs> so, it's so, so now it's almost like, okay, what happens if he does win? If Tyson, I think if Roy Jones wins, it's over. But if Tyson wins. I mean, do we fight Holyfield again? Well, Tyson was talking about yeah. fighting. Yeah. Keep it going, man. They got new belts. Um, keep it like what happens? They got new belts. <laughs> Why not? Tyson Jesus was talking about uh, fighting Fury before. Before they made this fight, he was talking about fighting Fury. So he maybe that Fury. As this would be the greatest if Mike Tyson wins. <laughs> if, if Mike Tyson is a, is officially a prospector again, this would be the greatest resurgence in sports history what? ever. What? Ever. Yeah. I'm what, what, ears. What's the? When did he retire? Yeah, right. right. Uh, yeah, he got. Did you see him hitting the punching right. bag, bro? He was putting. Yo, it on. Crazy. when did he retire? Because it's like that was insane. That's the longest stretch to come longest, back. Yeah, like to right. come back, and I'm you know, saying he's a prize fighter. Like, like oh, wow. that it looked like it hurt. Yes, it do. <laughs> the bull, like, the bull hole in the punching bag look like he is in pain. Like when I'm watching that video. <laughs> His podcast is crazy, bro. Y'all, if y'all haven't seen it, if y'all haven't man. seen it, watch the Boosie <laughs> episode. Yo, the Boosie episode <laughs> is man. too much, bro. I was 10, I, I might have been 10 right. minutes in. I was in my car dying. I was, like, scared, for, I was scared for Boosie, <laughs> bro. When Boosie told him, I'm Yeah, I if I got a wife. So I need her to. I, I need her to. to so if, I feel, if I feel like I need to, yeah, you know I'm saying get with another John. I need him. To, I need her to go get the John. I need her to go get the John, and that's the only way I could be married. And I was like, what? Was yeah. he like, what is going on, bro? <laughs> <Not> married, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listening to them talk, and then Tyson said something like, "Yeah, chaos makes my dick hard." He said that, <laughs> and I said, "What?" I, I mean. Just right. check out his podcast. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. When, you ask, when, you ask, no, look, when you try to ask him, like, are you a homosexual? Yeah. Said, oh. <laughs> like, what? Dude, what Where did this interview go? Like, bro, it's one say? of the wildest. Like, you know? And I mean, it is wild, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's wild. Like, do it. Yeah, Just check wild. it out. Um, He's making so much money. Yeah, for real. Um, okay, let's get into this NBA stuff real quick. So uh, it's a lot going on. First and foremost, let's start off with the champions and the GOAT. The Lakers reportedly uh, – well, actually, they, it's done. They have agreed to – it's not officially done, but they agreed to a trade with OKC for Dennis Schroeder. Uh, yeah, for, huh? I thought they already did that. Yeah, it's done. It's done. Okay. It's not, it's not a, it can't be official until, uh, I think, for a couple of days or a day or two. Um, okay. But they've agreed to trade Dennis Schroeder – Trey for Schroeder for Danny Green and the 28th pick. Um, they're also apparently interested in trading for DeMar DeRozan. Um, what do y'all think about the Schroeder trade? And and do what do y'all think about the possibility of getting DeMar DeRozan? I love the Schroeder trade because Danny Green was pissing me off in the playoffs and throughout the year. He's older. He's declining. Um, and I think that Schroeder, to me, is just a, a upgrade of Rondo. He's a younger more uh, offensively talented player than Rondo. And I think he is, he's just a, a slight upgrade 
uh, than Rondo, and you won't you don't you don't have the injury issue and the injury history that you had well, with him too because you got younger. Um, I'm so just, I, I love I'm it. I'm just I'm figuring though, like I'm just figuring because uh I'm just thinking defensively though. Are y'all looking across and just looking into Brooklyn? You know what I'm saying? You know these guys talk during the year, and, and I think they kind of had an inclination that you know uh, James Harden is probably going to go try to at least try to go over that side. So, I mean, the Stroder thing makes sense to me just because of Kyrie. You know, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I think I think Serge Ibaka, KD uh, trying to get Serge Ibaka is for you yeah. know just a scraping this for you know just for uh for uh, uh AD. Yeah. So I like the chess moves. I mean, I'm just getting kind of tired of. Everyone running around and acting like like this thing is not going to flow through LeBron or KD. Yeah, you know I don't I don't I don't really want to talk about anything else other than you know those two guys. But you know, considering everybody stays healthy, I think the only teams and the, the only one team in the NBA that can secretly knock off either one of these teams is probably Golden State, a healthy Golden State, who is officially under the radar because they haven't been healthy. What y'all What y'all think about the about the Schroeder trade? I like the shorter trade because you know LeBron was having to play the point. Yeah, he should have to do all that. Leave that man alone. He wants to but do it. Not, he he wants to do it. it. On the court, though, That's you know, I I want, you don't going. always want to play point. I thought it was going because of that. When, when Kyrie <laughs> was playing point, he, he know how to not do it. So yeah, LeBron Dax. He yeah. just got to do what he got to do to make the team work. Yeah, yeah. So, and I and I think I like, it, I, I like it, you know, Danny Green, Danny Green. So we saw yeah. all, all the crap he was doing all year. Yeah, so yeah. Get him out of here. Yeah, it was a good trade for that. Yeah. <laughs> and it was smart. That Kyrie, that, that Kyrie line, yeah, that was smart. I didn't even think about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think the uh, – yeah, I, I just feel sorry for OKC. Okay, they, 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 it, it sucks every year. They're snake bitten. Yeah, it's snake bitten. But, right? but I, that's so what I don't understand because they, they really – had something they put something together they they really overachieved this past year and so i think that's why i appreciate you know I, I i appreciate what chris paul did um you know but schroeder was a little bit overlooked un, you know overlooked in that whole in their whole journey because he was a big contributor to the re, you know to part of the reason why they were even a fifth seed when they yeah. they thought that it was a throwaway year and yeah. schroeder balled out he he led the league in points off the bench um and I think that he he also helped run that team when you know you know sparing Chris Paul some some minutes on his old body, which I think is which I see the value in having him because of LeBron because that's the thing that Rondo brought to the table where when LeBron was sitting and down, was, they would look like chickens with their head cut off, and then Rondo but, was come in and and it would help that. Can you imagine being an OKC fan losing Chris Paul and Schroeder? Though? Yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, so wait a minute. No, well, now, now, now. Here's the thing about that, though. They they may be cursed. I believe in this, uh, a sports curse. Remember, aren't they Seattle? Yeah. Yes. And they did Seattle dirty. Yeah, they true. Really out of Seattle is put it over there, so they've been cursed ever since. True. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, I can they've see been that. Cursed ever since. I can see you that. Know, um, so I don't want my champion coming from OKC anyway. Yeah, forget that. <laughs> uh, well, they, it ain't happening. Uh, OKC is 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 dumping. They offloading contracts. They 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 also traded Chris Paul to the Suns. Um, Lynn, you touched on it already. Does this even matter? Like, yeah, they're going to be the, Spets, the five seed. They're going to take, take OKC spot as a five seed. <laughs> I, I, and I can see that happening, but that's what yeah. I mean. Like, they just – is this just a middle yeah, of the road, a, a lateral move, you know? I feel so sorry for Chris Paul, man. That's why. They just want to go to playoffs. They yeah, they just man. Come on. Chris Paul, I feel so sorry for Chris Paul, man. He, I know. They just want to go to playoffs, man. They want to go to playoffs. They, 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 they let like him go guy. to the playoffs. He's like, he's like a man. I mean, you know, they're not going to cast away. Of course, that's like – that's the age. Yeah, yeah like, it's just crazy. You remember yeah. on Castaway how Tom Hanks, his job was to go to like different countries and like for FedEx and like build the company up. Yeah, real quick. That's exactly what Chris Paul is. He just Tom Hanks. <laughs> he's Tom Hanks. He's a Tom Hanks. He's a Tom the Hanks. First Hanks ever Chris Paul Tom to Hanks terrible, comparison on any he's going podcast. Around terrible ever. teams, build them up, take them to the playoffs, and then they trade them. Yeah, I don't. I don't get it. I mean, I, I don't get it. But I'm the the Phoenix. I think you know Phoenix made some. 
you know, they had some bright spots in their season, especially in the playoffs, uh, you know, or especially in their, their running to get to the playoffs. They had some bright spots. They got some talented players, but they're not a real contender. And so the Chris Paul trade is just like, Whatever to me, they're going to be nice. They might knock off the the Clippers, though. I mean, who knows? Because the Clippers like losing in the second round. Well, see, here's where we are. Everyone in the NBA has to weather another two year storm of LeBron being in the NBA. You right. know, people right. in the Jordan era had to go through it. You just got to wait this thing out. This KD <laughs> just wait it out. Thing out. You got to wait it out. And so, if Phoenix can make the playoffs for the first time in ten years, and do that twice, the yeah. revenue and everything, they'll be able to afford later on. Once LeBron James is out of the West, you know, yeah. I like the move. I like the move just to kind of like to build them up, you know, and try to get them to a certain point. Um, I feel, I feel like, I feel like they can be the Indiana Pacers of the West. Okay. You know, yeah, just I can hold see on, that. You know, with, with all the depot, you know, you know, over, over there with all the depot, they just, they just hold on for their life. Yeah. You know, just try to, you know, waiting for, waiting for somebody to take them, you know, to the least the four seed. I, I can like, see that. I feel like Phoenix can do that. How many more years AD have you? Know? Say it again. Hey. AD. Oh, oh. So when LeBron's out, like he's still gonna be there, right? Well, AD is. AD. Yeah, yeah, he's still gonna be there. He's um. They're in. He turns into Giannis after that. He turns yeah, into he, Giannis after that. They're they're gonna they're gonna negotiate probably a long term deal. He opted out of his uh of whatever that one year extension thing that he had. So they're probably gonna do a long term deal. And then he, when he, LeBron he leaves, LeBron AD, deal, right? AD he's will be, be the guy. Right there too. But yeah. He's gonna be able to free freak though. So. Yeah, he's gonna be he's gonna be he's gonna be honest. He he gonna he gonna yeah, he's gonna take over. Um the other team that's kind of offloading and just dumping everything is the Houston Rockets. So the Rockets <laughs> went ahead and they traded Robert Covington to Portland for Gilbert Ariza and picks. Um but the, the big fish that they're obviously um in talks about is apparently James Harden um and Russell Westbrook. Now from Everything that everybody is saying by at this point, we've all heard James Harden is apparently hell bent to get to Brooklyn to play with the Nets. Um, the the thing about it is, what you say? I saw something that said they disagreed on it. Yeah. So the thing about it, I don't think it's official official yet. But the thing about it is that he can't really force his, his a, a trade. Because he's not a free agent. He's, he just got locked in. So he still got like three years left on his deal. They don't have to do anything with James Harden. I thought they had one year. No. Yeah, I thought it was one year. Remember, and that's why no, they just gave him a fat he, contract. He locked in for hoping. another. Yeah. yeah, he's hoping that they trade him. Yeah, he's, he's hoping, hoping that they trade him. But, what, but he what, really what, don't have no leverage. What's the whole thing they're talking about him denying the 103 mil? Yeah, I'm confused. So he because yeah. that was an extension. Yeah. yeah he denied he denied a 50 million extension, which was the was which gonna be the largest uh and, and uh, that was, yeah. so yeah, yeah, and, yeah that, well that was built in. That was built into his contract, the extension option. Yeah, the option for him to say no was built in. So yes, he could no, like, say opt no. Out. Yeah, so yeah, opt out. So yeah. so supposedly for him to say no, he only is there for this one year. I th- even if he says no, he has multiple years left on his contract. Are you uh, sure? Yeah, I'm sure of that. I'm sure I of that. I remember somebody saying that he was done after this year. So why is that no. new? Why no. is this new I'm looking. So so the <laughs> thing, yeah, yeah, you can d- double check that, but I'm 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 almost I'm I'm almost certain that he has multiple years left on his contract, which is the reason why he doesn't really have a lot of leverage. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he wants to he wants to get out because they're done there, he don't want to be in a in a and a restart. He doesn't want to be in, in a rebuild. Westbrook's trying to leave too. But Westbrook is trying to, to leave no, too. You don't get to do that, man. What do I say? Do I, what do I say? 2022. 2022. Yeah. So, uh, and and Westbrook wants to get out. Westbrook is apparent. The only teams that are apparently uh, interested in Westbrook are the Knicks and the Hornets. So that's yeah. whatever deal that's going to be. They, this, these, this ain't going to be good deals. <laughs> that don't work. Yeah, we, we don't, don't, like, we don't I, want it. Listen, I, I'll at least take New York for the market. Yeah, I would too. Definitely, I don't I see why he would. New York market at least. You go there, yeah, you know. You imagine if, he, if, he's on, if he's on the Knicks and um and Harden's on the on the on the Nets. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, right. <laughs> but here's the thing: what's what's going to be the big the bigger? Is there can there be a bigger dumpster fire than James Harden on the Brooklyn Nets? That's not going to work. It's not who going cares? to work. Who, who cares? It's not going Who to cares? I mean it's just who's bringing the ball no, down. It's not going to work because Who's listen at some point down? somebody going to have 
Somebody's gonna have to talk about Kyrie being such a damn cancer. How about that? How about that? Like somebody like, some of this guy, this guy couldn't play with LeBron James for right. God's sake. The, the, the nicest can, guy so, in NBA history. What are we talking about? Nobody can that? supposedly though. Who LeBron? I don't, Let man. me tell you something. If they you all, can't play with you, LeBron James, it's you. It's like it's he's you. He's the nicest guy. And I'm a and I'm a Jordan guy. That's what he's the name. nicest guy to ever touch superstardom in any sport. No, the, the person who nobody can play with is Kyrie Irving. He goes Kyrie. to Boston, the team disintegrates. When he was, when, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's like it's you had a, you, weird stuff. on a team that was tailor made to win now. And all they, all you needed to do was drop in a superstar. And he goes there and they, they implode. Right. And then he leave. I mean, it's just like one thing after another with him, he always saying some dumb shit out of his mouth. Uh, and him and James Harden are the same type of player. They're both ball dominant. They need the ball. Exactly. 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 But, but, here, here, but here's my here's my here's my rebuttal to that though. Of uh, they may be the same as far as like their own court presence, but there has never been an issue where anybody has talked about James Harden being a locker room cancer. Right. Being You're right. Uh, being what? James Harden. James Harden has never been accused of. Being a locker room cancer like like oh, yeah. Kyrie Irving has, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He might be he might be a ball hog and a choke artist in the playoffs or whatever the case, but he's not. He's always been a team player. Kyrie Irving, you can't play. I can't wait for KD to understand it. Right, right. You go over there so bad. Now, yeah, look, yeah, right. All you did was leave Russ number yeah, one for Harden, Russ number two. Yeah, Dude, right. Harden doesn't like like Harden will just will just kind of just play his position, but he don't like when you come in and try to run the position though. Right. You know, like, he ain't like right. how Chris Paul did that shit. Right. He ain't like how mm -hmm. Russell Westbrook did the shit. At some, at, and that's the thing. At it's some point, Boston. it's you, right? Because Harden, Harden couldn't work with Dwight Howard. He couldn't work with Russell Westbrook. He couldn't work with Chris Paul. I mean, you keep bringing people in, and so now he's going to go with two two superstars, Ooh. two head case superstars at that. Yeah, yeah, both of them. Yeah, ain't yeah, nobody yeah. more sensitive than, than uh, uh, Kevin Durant. And the only person that could be close is Kyrie Irving. So, yeah. so I mean, talk but about a, a dumpster hang on. fire. Hang on, but hang on. In James Harden's defense, again, he didn't play with anybody, any any championship caliber superstars like Kyrie. Kyrie Irving literally, literally was a baby coming off of LeBron James, who had literally just won down in Miami. He came back, and you're going to tell LeBron James, the LeBron James, that he's the problem, and this is your team. Yeah, I mean that's that's. I mean, come I mean, on, that's Kyrie ridiculous. did make that shot, but I mean, you can say AD made the shot too. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Kyrie. Cool. I mean, that, 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 about, he, like, he he contributed, but at, at the thing, at, that's what I'm saying. When you everybody look good playing with LeBron James, everybody. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. LeBron, how many how many I'm how many people is LeBron gonna, gonna get to. paid? How many how many people is LeBron gonna get paid when his career is is done? Tristan Thompson got terrible too. contracts. Uh, 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 who else? Uh, uh, somebody just opted out. Um, Caldwell Pope is about to get paid because he looked great next to LeBron. It's gonna be a terrible contract. Rajah Rondo is about to get paid. It's gonna be a terrible con. Everybody Kevin gets Love paid after they. Kevin Love hasn't rebuilt the ball since. And he ain't exactly has he played hasn't basketball since? The ball since. I mean, so 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 he since. so at, that's the thing. And when you are Kevin now Love. in a position to be oh. a leader. We we saw what happens when when you're in a position to be a leader with Kyrie and it doesn't it never goes well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, and so now and then you already had before you inserted James Harden into this mix, you already had your two the, the team's two best players after they just signed a new coach talking about how they don't need a coach. We don't need a coach. We can coach ourselves. Yeah, this see, is the new I, I, I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered. Can't Who's be bothered. like Kyrie and Kevin said this on his podcast. They, they say that literally, the literally, literally, a week I, after they hire Steve Nash, who was a rookie head coach, by the way. So throw that into the dumpster fire. A week after their rookie head coach is hired, they're on the podcast talking about how I don't think we need a coach. You could be the coach one day. I could be the coach the next day. Wow. You know, I, I, I what? No, I, no I mean, so this is gonna be fun. I want them to go, James. Go, because I this is entertaining. Because who doesn't like watching a dumpster fire? Like who doesn't like watching 
the biggest accident when you drive by a big ass accident on the expressway, you slow down and you look. And, 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 and then Russell Westbrook is going to bring back the dicks, and it's going to be But then again, <laughs> but then again, Kevin made it work with the Warriors. So well, different. Kim, that was a wholesome who, who team. Did who did it? Kevin Durant. Nah, that was a whole you know different. What? Now, 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 I want to say this already. I think I think they underachieved. That was a championship team. He was a championship team already. He underachieved only when he won championship there. Yeah, well, he got two. You under. But, but, what? No, no, they, they, they he, he got two, but got two. he he backed in. I mean, who? It was a championship. Yeah, well, he, well, went well, a, he went to it. He went to an all star roster. Like they couldn't who, not who, lose. Who? He was like he was like, oh, they beat me. Um, let me just join them. Yeah, <laughs> they beat me. Let me join them. Series, you little cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, I mean, like they under he underachieved over there though. You know what I'm saying? He did. Of he won course. my respect. He won my respect like playing and then getting hurt. Like I like the way he did that. You know what I mean? But I mean, but the I, championships don't mean anything. Race. That's why he went to Brooklyn because he know. I think deep down he knows he that those knew. championships don't mean anything to anybody. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You 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 put cough cough. I think LeBron knew that too. That's why he went back to Cleveland. Cough cough. Oh, it, it could be. Right, it, no, we, ain't doing, we ain't doing that. 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 It, it, it could be, but but the, the reality is, I think you know, Kevin has talked about Kevin has talked about not getting the praise that he that he thought he deserved after winning. Like he's yeah. come out and said that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we know that it's a little bit of a seed there where he kind of knows, yeah. like, all right, like I won, and but it don't people don't really give me the roses that I thought I was gonna get because I run Any it on the other top. team. If he had went to any other team, he would have got those roses. Yep, you're right. Any other team. You're right. You're right. Well, um, we'll see because it, and another thing too, man, another thing too we have to realize is, you know, he's he's never been like the hardest worker. So true. I wonder what he's going to look like coming off this injury. Right. How about that? That's going to be a big thing to see. That's going to be a big no, thing to see. see. That too. The other team that's in play as far as this uh, uh, um, James Harden, trade talks is the Sixers apparently um now I like that move way more and I think that will it make makes way sense more. for Harden it makes sense yeah. but we're not giving a bed but 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 would you would you want to would you want Let to go no what at this point this for James for, for Harden? James Harden no y'all no, go? Go is bugging bro Yo, that that is that's the best swap ever. Like what? I don't I don't see a better. But, but I don't know if that's enough. You think that's enough? You think hard is enough for the it, it, it this, this, this this is defense, bro. One on one. Yeah, but you get you get a league right now though. You get a one on one. I understand, but if you talking about running the tempo and you know, I, I want to say this. I want to I want to say this. If we get James Harden, they will hands down be the most effective, at least offensive, guard and big combo. I, in I agree. Yeah, I agree. Fact, definitely. Fully. I mean, Fully. I think right now, right now, for the Sixers, we just have a tall guy who can handle the ball, who not only misses, who won't, who won't make a jump shot, but won't even don't take them. Don't even take them. So now like, you have a threat. Now you have a. Now you have that inside outside threat. Which the Lakers showed the rest of the league. Fuck all that small ball shit. We're gonna win a right. championship with all these bigs, right? Mm -hmm. So now you got the league. This is a copycat league. So now you got other teams in the league that's looking at that like, damn. So now you will have on the East a a, a a legitimate inside outside threat where nobody else in the East will really have something that's that's comparable to with, that. With Doc Rivers. With, with Doc, Doc Rivers, Rivers. Yeah. that would be if ah, if, if James Harden went to the Rivers. Sixers. They would be my favorite to be in the finals coming out the East, like oh, yeah, almost, yeah. Well, almost. Well, here's, here, but here's where you, here's where you don't have to wonder with that, right? Because now I think, in my opinion, I don't, you know maybe I'm a Philadelphia guy, but <laughs> give me Ben Simmons <laughs> over Spencer Dinwiddie. Yeah, yeah, I mean <laughs> for sure over Dinwiddie, you know, over Dinwiddie. So what happens is I think because remember the narrative here is that. They don't have to do anything. James Harden is not. Gonna they don't have to do a game. goddamn thing. So the Sixers might look better. So you kind of like you playing with him this year, and you probably ain't gonna do nothing with him, and then you gonna lose in the free agency. Yeah, I, well, no, 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 no. I'm saying trade him. I'm, I'm talking about, but trade him where you want to trade him at. Where they, where yeah. they're gonna want to trade him. Yeah, and more value like, there for the trade him to 
Yeah, that don't make but sense. the thing is, Brooklyn do have a lot of access to trade. The only the problem, the other problem that the Nets face is they would have to trade away their entire roster. Exactly. They would, you would lose them with it. You would lose LeBert. You, would, I mean, you would, then, uh, all of a sudden. The, what's a tall dude? Uh, uh, uh with the fro. Yeah. Uh, the block the boy, the block the spray I can't guy. think of his uh, name. Yeah. But him, Jared Allen, is, is it Allen? Jared Allen, Jared, Allen, Jared Allen. You will lose yeah. Allen. You would yeah. literally lose the thing that makes your team viable the right depth. now. You, all you of your depth, depth yeah. all, you would completely yeah. lo- dismantle it for one player. And it's not like there's a there's who may a or may not mesh together. Who may or may not even work, leaning to not work, right? So it's it's a it's not even a great move for the Nets in reality. You know what I'm saying? So but who would the Sixers get up? That's the thing. Who would we get up? Ben. They would get Ben. ben all they would, ben, all they would have ben to ben do like is get round. Ben and some draft picks, I think. Yep. And, and and it would and it would work. You know what I mean? I don't know contractually wise how they would ma- match it up, but they would they they would definitely figure that out. That would be dope for the Sixers though. Or, or or it might be it might be a situation where they had to work out a, like a like a three trade, a, a three team trade. Yeah, you know, yeah, I can see them doing you know, that. Just, you know what I'm saying? And then convince, you know, maybe like uh because Houston would also need if they if they got Ben Simmons, well they need everything. Oh, that, but you know, but they would need they would they would need another they would need another two, three. So yeah, you know, Ben Simmons of course, so you know, work it out with somebody else. I mean it's it's possibilities out there. You know, Sixers got relationships with people, but I, I think Doc Rivers being being a Sixer coach right now. If Doc, if, Doc if would James, James, then I mean, B would be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you know, and for a guy for a guy to turn down fifty million dollars a year, he don't want to be he there. wants to win. I mean, he he wants don't want to win. be there. Doc Rivers could help him win. Yeah. That's a fact. That's a fact. Um the 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 last trade that we're gonna get to is uh Drew Holiday got traded um to the Bucks like for that. Eric Bledsoe and George Hill. Now this to me like was oh, breaking, great... breaking, breaking. The Rockets only have interest in Kyrie at Irving. Or Kevin Durant in the deal. Ooh, wow. That's going to be a good one. This is basketball. This is basketball. Trust the process. Bump, 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 bump. Trust the process. <laughs> Period. That's it. Go into Philly. It's over. Yeah, Call hey, it bring him here. Call him home. You got that. Big Bear, baby. Home of the Big Bear. Come on in. How about that? How about that? Trust the process. So, oh, uh, you know, that deal is dead as a doorknob. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> that I love dead. it. I love hey, it. Here's a question, here's a question on, the, on, the, on the Rocket side, though. Like, yo, for Ben, though, with no shots, still, would you want to trade him? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because. Well, 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 well see, put him in a position where he doesn't no need to shot. But you, what do you want to trade him for? Um, if you're on the rocket side, that's what I think so. No, because the rocks are done. They're toast. They're done. They're yeah, done. there I is no team anymore. Because because yeah, so what you want to what you're going to do is you're not going to get a superstar from any other. You're not going to get a superstar from the Nets. You'll just get a lot of a lot of uh, uh, draft role picks, players. and you'll get a lot of great role players. So right? You ain't get nobody now. Bro. Right? You ain't you ain't get nobody now. So if you do the Sixers, at least you get back. A, 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 a superstar, a super, you know what I'm saying, or a, you know, a, an aspiring superstar, and Ben Simmons. That deal kind of helps you box office wise, you know, monetarily. Oh, no, most definitely. But oh, it also oh, it also definitely. helps you on the court. You know what I'm saying? So bro, I think yeah. that's a deal yeah. to do. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. bro. Let's talk about four players, bro. Yeah, they. That's what I'm saying. They, they, he doesn't. Harden doesn't have the leverage to, yeah, to, to do this, yeah. and they like he they did. and they got the leverage because they like we don't got to do anything. So give us a bag. Give us an entire of the, of the biggest bag y'all got. Give it to us, or yeah, we ain't, we just gonna sit on. Wait, wait, wait. Dinwiddie, <laughs> Lavert, wait, and Allen, and uh, uh, Prince. That's too much, bro. That's too much. That's too much. Yeah. And and, and 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 look at what that's the, that's the thing that we were about to talk about. Look at what they got for uh for Drew. Look at what the Pelicans got for Drew Holiday, Eric Bledsoe, and George Hill, and picks. To me, that's a lot. So that's imagine that's what you had to give up for James Harden. That's a lot for Drew Holiday. But listen, let me can I can I shake something up because because the last now the last time I heard I'm gonna say a statement that I heard is complete. It was in quotes completely untrue, right? <laughs> of a player who was in a trade rumor. The last time I heard that was AD. Yeah. Completely untrue. No, I'll never. No, completely yeah. untrue. We're not going to get rid of five players for one yeah. play. Completely untrue. I, it'll never. <laughs> now, you know who's saying that right now? Victor Oladipo is saying it over in 
He said he didn't say that. Where he going though? Where he going though? Now that that's important if he does move. If we could put him in the mix, I would rather him on the Sixers because he played deep. Yo, they t- they, that's one of the rumors, though. But the thing is, Victor would have to go, Victor would have to choose to go there because they're not going to trade him. So Victor would have to leave mm-hmm. in free agency and, and go there. And so I that's the ahead. thing, which which I think I think it, it wouldn't be until Victor reaches free agency and then he decides that's like, all right, year? I'm out of here. Next year, I think so. I think he's a free agent so, after this season. And B and B has to have a very good year. Is another rumor yeah. for it. Do you like Russell for John Wall? I like that. Uh, yeah. Wall, yeah, yeah. I mean, why not? Now, well, yeah. if, if he can stay healthy, though, if one thing about Russ, he yeah. play. Yeah. Russ play. He might he might shoot you out of games, but he play. Yeah. Girl, John Wall. Russ is a little. I mean, I feel like he he well with James Russell brings so much to shit. Yeah, Russell was a. Oh, yeah, Wall, Wall was definitely bro, more Russell, right. was Russell was a little. Is it just me or, or I, Russell's a little overrated to me? Bro, he. Uh, oh, all right, so overrated as what? The uh, only thing is his jump shot, but that's the only thing he has. Oh, he made triple doubles. But his and, and, got, and, and got bounced. The every year that he had a triple double, he got bounced in the first round of the playoffs. I, I, I never rated him. Empty never calories. Rated. No, you never rated him. So he not he's rated. not rated. Yeah, he oh, he overrated to me. I don't know. I, like the, 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 the only time Russell Westbrook was dangerous is when we used to we used to say who was better, who would you rather have, Russell was uh, Russell uh, uh, Westbrook or uh, Derrick Rose. That was the only time yeah. he was dangerous. Ever yeah. since Dever- Derrick Rose got hurt and he had – Russell Wilson had – I mean, Russell Westbrook had just been like – it's just like an anomaly. Oh, all these triple doubles. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, yeah. but who yeah. cares? It's mainly because he's explosive, too. It's the reason why, like, like you go – you're going to see you're gonna see a lot out of him every game. Yeah. Yeah. That's the re- yeah, he it's does true. play with a lot of heart. Yeah. But um, heart gets you knocked out. Heart don't get any results. How about that? Yeah. Uh, get you the, knocked out. Speak, speaking, of, speaking of those uh, of rumors – the other rumor is about Giannis, right? And and Milwaukee trying to do these things, all of these moves to to keep Giannis, right? So they did the Drew Holiday trade, which I don't think was a great. I don't think it improved. You know, if they did, even if they did Drew Holiday for Eric Bledsoe straight up, it wouldn't have been. But then they gave away George Hill, and then they traded uh uh Devin Dante uh Divincenzo and Ilya Silva and DJ Wilson. For Bogdan Bog, uh, Bogdanovich, which to me is another like y'all no, are, right. I don't under y'all oh. are giving away way too much. They did all I don't think they got. Him. I don't think they got better. I think I think it was a lateral move. I think they even but, you but can even argue what? that they got worse. And here's I think what? that we're hearing that Giannis low key wants to go to Miami. Yeah, I bet. Sucker. But but here, 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 it's not really hard to keep him. That's what it does. But but here's here, here's what I think. I think I think Drew Holiday. Aside from that game seven, or, or, or was it game uh, game six, that uh-huh. Middleton finally played with some heart, yeah. I think Drew Drew Holiday gives you that consistency every game. That that, that Bledsoe Middleton, didn't give you. I could, I could well, see no, that, that Middleton didn't give you. Because Middleton – Oh, true. Bledsoe, Middleton was, Bledsoe was, that, was not consistent either. In the uh, you know what I'm saying? saying? So, I think they're looking, looking to put consistency around him. You know what I mean? Like, you know – But I, guess I mean, what? I, I, Here's my take with Giannis. It don't matter who you put around him. It, y'all, they, y'all not going nowhere unless he get better, or unless y'all bring in somebody else. Y- unless y'all bring in a, 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 a Kevin Durant or LeBron James or somebody uh, yeah. where he can be one A or one B. Y'all still not going to go anywhere. If the best Davis. player on your team can't shoot a, a, a ten foot jump shot or can't make Davis. foul shots when when it's when it's in a, exactly. He's Anthony Davis. He needs somebody else because yeah. it doesn't matter who y'all bring in. If if Giannis is your best is your best player, you're not going to win a championship. Not yeah. not as he's not as his talent currently stands. Say it again. Forty five points. Say it again. He got to score 45 points. But even when he but, does, even listen, when he does, it's empty be calories because he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it when it do matters. It when it counts, yeah. Give, yeah. I'd, rather you, I'd rather give me four points inside of two minutes. Right, you right. Know, you know, in the fourth. Right. I want you, I'd rather you knock down those foul shots, Giannis. Or I'd rather you be able to, when they when they wall you off and you can't just run over people in the paint, that you can hit that pull-up jump, jump shot from the foul line out, and he can't do that. Until he improves his game, it don't matter who they bring in. It's a, it's a, it's a lateral move. All of this that y'all trying to do to keep him is great, but it's not – y'all not going to beat the, the, the Nets. Y'all not going to beat the – y'all lost to the – who did they lose the to? I mean, y'all not going to beat the Heat. No, 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The Sixers are going to get better. You're not going to be this. It's just in the playoffs, and they're going to win. Let me tell y'all, don't you don't have to play the tape back. They're going to win in 60 games again. They're going to be in the first seed again, and they're going to get bounced in the playoffs again. It's you know who the they are? Back. You know who they are? And it reminded me, this this whole thing this year with him and LeBron reminded me of what Jordan said on the last dance when um, Carl Malone won that, in, that second that MVP yeah. in 98. Yeah. He was like, you know what? They can win as many games as they want. They won more games than us, but he's not going to be better than me in the playoffs. Period. And so I see all that. they are, all they are, are the Utah Jazz. That's you all know? they are. <laughs> that's all you are. Oh, yeah, so are. Moral of the story: Boy, the Milwaukee yeah. Bucks are the Utah Jazz, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's it. And he, and he, and he took a championship from LeBron. Period. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, um. So coming up, uh, when this podcast comes out, it'll be uh draft day. So draft day is uh is is happening tomorrow for us. Now that we're where's Melo go? So uh, let's look uh, at it. So we have a little uh, uh, mock mock. I draft. love a kid. Man. We got a little mock draft graphic here. This is this is what they're predicting for for most of the uh, experts are predicting how they think it's going to go. Right. So if you're not watching, number yeah. one is the Timberwolves. They have Lamelo Ball going number one. Um, but the thing is, n- number one through four in reality can kind of go either way because I've been hearing a lot of a lot of uh, mixed signals about this. Right. Because I've also heard. That the Timberwolves would take Wiseman. Um, that made no you know, sense. Yeah, they could take Ball, but they have Ball going one. They have Wiseman going two. Uh, they have o- Oyeka, if I'm, I'm probably fucking up his name, going three. Anthony Edwards four. Um, so, where, where do y'all? Who do y'all think goes first? Well, well here, here's what happens. No, what? Well, here's what happens though, right? So I, go try I don't think I, I, I don't think if, if there is a situation where, remember. On, on, on Golden State right now, they have Andrew Wiggins, who came from the Timberwolves, who was literally James Wiseman when he got drafted. Right. They learned their lesson. You know what right. I'm saying? I think, I think they learned their lesson. There's no way that I think uh, that I think the Wolves take James Wiseman and have it reminiscent of the Andrew Wiggins thing that just never worked. So um, for star power, you almost have to – I mean, for that market, you almost have to take ball. You almost have to, unless you trade for. Them. Yeah, like, I, I would think they, I would if I if I'm if I'm the Golden to. if I'm the Golden State Warriors I'm trading out of the second pick because the mellow ball to me on that team with Stephen Curry is kind of like you know pointless and then right. to to me you need you need somebody who is a proven vet uh, to to really put y'all in contention, right? Uh, you drafting a young stud from, from college is not going to really put y'all in that one to three range in the Western Conference where y'all are really contenders to win the championship, which to me right now, they are not, right? Center, if you have a good center. Wait a minute. I disagree, bro. I, I, I disagree. I disagree. I think, they, I think they are very slept on. You already got Steph. You already got Clay. You already got everybody. All they needed. Yeah, but y'all forgetting about. So what y'all all all they needed was a center. So they get a center. No, all they needed is a six man. They need all they needed is a six man. They need a six man. So is he the six man or is he the start? No, no, no. You bring him in, and then if you you bring him in, and then I think I think you get to a point. Yeah, it's, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? You bring him in, and then I think somebody – I think at, at some point Andrew Wiggins is going is not going to be a starter. So I think what y'all forgetting about is this Golden State Warrior team is not the team the of 2016 that had all of this depth on it, right? So you guys named three people after those – after Curry and That's Clay like and, and an old Draymond. Your team is is not very attractive. It's it's Wiggins. It's Eric Pascal. It's Robertson the third. It, I mean, it, it's Jordan Poole. Like, th- there's not. This is not a sexy team. If they get Wiseman. Yes, because you know. because you insert a rookie into that into that lineup. You still need a lot of help. You still need a lot of help to be a contender in the East, where you have the Lakers and the Clippers. Huh? But, but see, yeah, but what I'm saying like, though, he's no more. Look at Tyler Hero, bro. Andrew yeah. Wiggins is Wiseman, though. That's what, exactly. And Andrew he's, Wiggins he's is overrated. Right. And he's not. All, all he is is a rim runner. All he is is a rim runner. 
So you know, I don't think we really play defense. I ain't seen them play. I think you go. I think I think I think Golden State has to go big European if they if they go anything. I I think Golden State has a lot of roster moves that they need to make because this is not you know that team with Harrison Barnes and Sean Livingston and Zaja all these you know this great depth and all these great role players coming off the bench that's not they got a they got a bunch of G they have Stephen Curry Clay Thompson and old Draymond Green and a bunch of G League players if we're being yeah, honest about it numbers. that so they not strength and numbers no more it's not strength I mean, and numbers no more it's not strength and numbers no more so i think we giving them a lot of name recognition and respect yeah. off of name value but, but this now, is not a team that they are not contenders but, for real for real but, but uh, this is what i want to say though but do they not kind of remind you of outside of uh outside of Harrison Barnes and place with Andrew Wiggins, who again, they're the same player. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew, I mean, Harrison Barnes was a little, little bit more perimeter, you know what I'm saying? But uh, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sorry, like productivity, they're gonna give you the same thing. Thirteen. Um, do they not remind you of when they first got there, though? I, yeah, I could, but that's why I'm saying they're too young. Like I think that's why I would trade out of the second pick because if one thing, if one thing that LeBron James hasn't hasn't and nobody could, hasn't, you know, if one thing we didn't learn from LeBron James is that you need, the young boys ain't going to win you no championship. That's why he got to Cleveland and said, get these young boys out of here. Send Andrew Wiggins somewhere, bring me some bets. And then he got to LA and he said, yeah, look, Ball and, and all them, Ingram, they nice. Get these young guys out of here because you're not going to win championships with those guys, right? So but they're not there though. Huh? They're not, they're not there. Like, see, I, see, it's, 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 oh. You you gotta you gotta be careful with LeBron James because although he's thirty five, they're going to thirty six. I do. His athleticism is something different. They're and gonna I need do. some youth. Yeah, they're gonna need like LeBron doesn't need. Like, I, he's so weird. Like you can't even <laughs> like like because you. Know, you know, he's an anomaly. So, yeah, like he's an anomaly. Need, he's but, the only thirty five year old man that don't need somebody that's twenty five. Right, right. But, but I'm saying, I'm saying just if you look at the construct of like well-rounded championship teams, especially in the playoffs, they not playing a lot of young guys. No, yeah. a LeBron James team or not. Small. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, yeah. so I'm saying with the, with the Warriors, they got to shake that roster up a lot. Cause like you say, it's not strength in numbers no more. So they got a lot of moves to make. And I think the first thing that they should do is trade out of that number two pick or, 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 or take somebody. Yeah. Try to pick up another try strong, you know what I'm saying? Because they're going to need it to, to contend with the Lakers and the Clippers and Denver and Utah. And the West is coming back better. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So y'all can't they show up. That out though. Oh, y'all can't ball. show up with the same crew. Like, all right, we're going to do this again. Like, we're going to run 2016 back. If I'm them, they got that new stadium there. Yeah. Um, I'm not getting caught up in this LeBron James stuff for the next two years. <laughs> you just forget it. <laughs> I'm, like, not, I'm not getting caught up in it. I'm like, my mind is already on 23. 24. And I think that's what yeah, they man. need to do. <laughs> You know I, mean? I think, even, I think that's getting, what they need to do. Like, like just I mean, take 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 a uh, take Wiseman and then just wait a year. But, yeah, so just, I, just I, relax. I, I, yeah, just play relax. the long game. Play the long game. What, what, what happened with Paul? I'm not getting caught up in the Why did he play during the playoffs? Uh, because he's young. Say, say it again. Say that's, it again. That's he it. He said, what happened with Ball Ball and why didn't he play during the playoffs? Because he was balling. He was balling. He's just young. Young. They the coach NBA coaches don't play young guys in the playoffs. They just don't. You know what I'm Lundell saying? That's can smile yeah. so you can do that. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, he he showed. Well, wait a minute! Whoa, 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 Tyler Hero. But here's here's the thing. You know the stretch when he got when he got to that. Up that's team why. Level, that's why. Yeah, that's why. That's why you don't see him. That's why you, Tyler Hero was well, no Tyler Hero in the championship. Yeah, that's why yeah, you don't see him. Hero. That's why you don't like see him. the longevity. The longevity. I don't think the I don't think the uh, the young guys have. Uh, number one. Number one. The, the deeper you get into the playoffs, it's going to be dramatic adjustments. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I don't think I don't. I think the young guy, the younger guys. I, I just think that I think that Golden State. I think they go young, but they don't. They just don't go wise, man. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. I think you try to go like you. You try to go. You you, you need some length in your lineup, and uh-huh. you need some. Uh, and, and, so I, I I go European. I go. Uh, so I go so to- before we move on to, to the rapid fire and wrap this up, who are y'all taking number one? With the, if you if you are the Timberwolves, who would you take number? Would you take Wiseman? Would you take Ball? Would you take I'm Edwards? I'm taking Ball. I'm taking Ball. My, my market needs take ball. Ball. You gotta take Ball. I take that, Ball. That, 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 that's that's a good. Cause remember how we were just saying how hard it is in NBA. 
would yeah. be like the best at that. Yeah. Hello and yeah. I'm with you. Oh, and, and, you know. But but see, here's my thing though. They right. can't afford. They can't afford anybody. The only reason why they they've been they've been a, a, a lot of these picks is because they've been horrible. Yeah. You know, if they got for this some kind of way they creep to like a seven seed, they're not going to be able to afford anybody in that market. You need Alonzo Ball for boost ticket sales. Yeah. Uh, Revenue sales and all that kind of stuff. You need him because yeah, you need him to be back. Yes. Yes. yes, yeah. I mean, they haven't made money since Kevin Garnett. You're it's right. Just, oh, I, you ever been to Minnesota? Oh. Yeah, it's nothing to do. <laughs> just, uh, why would anybody go to Minnesota? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> they can take them. Take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah take, take them. them. Get some, I'm sorry, take I them. Some money. It's cold, bro. They need, they need straight up money down there. Straight up. Straight up. Uh, let's get out of here on some of these rapid fire joints. So this was, uh, if you didn't listen to the, uh, Club Shay Shay's podcast, this is uh, Shannon Sharp's me. podcast. He had Isaiah Thomas on the podcast. And you know, we're going to talk about this for a, a quick second. Uh, he asked Isaiah Thomas to give him his top five toughest competitors that you played against. Uh, the second greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan, come, came in fifth on the list. I'm just going to go right in and we could then throw it out there. Number one was Magic Johnson. Number two was Kareem. Number three was Larry Bird. And number four was Dr. J. Michael Jordan came in five. Um, now, some people might take this as a dig, but I, 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 I'm looking at the list like it's not really a far-fetched list to me. You know what I'm it saying? Is. Michael you, Jordan is oh, the greatest. Michael, 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 Dr. J, stop playing with hey, me. Come on. Michael Jordan, if Michael Jordan, is, 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 if he's anything all time, he's the greatest competitor. Come on. At least Yo, he's saying competitors he plays because this is the thing. This is the good part. Come on. This is the point. Hey, Kareem. Oh, this, this is the point that Isaiah made, right? Isaiah made a point of people, y'all keep, y'all have this narrative that that somehow we were chasing Jordan, right? When we came into the league, we weren't chasing Jordan was young. So we weren't chasing Jordan was chasing us. So right. so so and, and when we played them, we got the better of them for the most time. At our in our heyday, we got the better of him. So when he so so he said like we weren't chasing him, we were chasing magic. We were chasing the Lakers. We were chasing Bird. We weren't chasing Jordan. So in his and so people hear this and they think it's hate, but it's it's really Isaiah speaking his truth of like Jordan wasn't the guy. Jordan wasn't the aim. He was the young bull. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Now, I will respect that if you said, all right, the top five toughest teams Isaiah has to face. Yeah, this is good. It was competitors. You know what I'm saying? Why? Michael Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Like, when Michael Jordan. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, there it is. Really hate Michael. Yeah, there but, well, no, listen, when Michael Jordan says, who's the toughest opponents he faced, he doesn't say the toughest teams. He, he'll tell you, Joe Dumars, John Starks. You know what I'm saying? Like, these guys who I had to go against on a daily basis. And I think that's where that's where Isaiah feel. Like, I had to go against those guys, and, and I was going after those guys for so long that they he were the hardest to get him. over. Because he no, beat Jordan. Kareem. That's the thing. He beat Jordan. He beat Jordan. Kareem. So, so if, if, you, if I'm Isaiah and I beat him, I'm like, he wasn't the hardest guy. You know what I'm saying? It was the nah, guy that we was chasing. The toughest competitor, Michael Jordan, was a tough competitor for them, for them, for them boys. I don't man. think he's saying. I don't think he he was trying they, to say he wasn't. They, I was just. I think he was just trying to make the point that those guys to him were tougher. Let's do, four, Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Maybe Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Right. I'm gonna throw this at you. Dr. J and them won one championship in '83. You mean to tell me? You had more battles with Dr. J than you did with that's Jordan in the late 80s. It, that's Doc, that's bro. Doc, but that's Doc on a one-on-one -on -one tip. That's probably how he feel on a one-on-one -on -one tip. You said on the one-on-one, though. That's Doc what did, talking about. Yeah. yeah that's it's, that's what he was saying, wasn't though. point guards on there, but Matthew he, Johnson. He didn't even go against Dr. J and one-on-one. <laughs> I think he would, but that's what I'm saying. If he had to stick him, he would got eight up. He's seven foot tall. So I guess yeah, he ain't one of the good. You talking about he Kareem? Wanna, he ain't never played against Kareem. He ain't never played against no Kareem. <laughs> he's a red bird. I, I, listen, I get it. Uh, let's get out of here on this, on, on, on these couple ones. Uh, the Raptors are looking for a place to play. Um, in, in, in this next coming season because of the COVID and America being dead last in all the numbers. Um, they, they are like low-key banned for, to, for playing in, in Canada. So they're looking for a place Ooh, to the NBA player, the Raptors, like the rap, they, they want, yeah, pretty much. They don't want the NBA coming in. They don't want, cause their, their numbers are low. So they don't want, you know, yeah, American, want... we still banned to go into a lot of places. Like we still can't yeah, travel to a lot of places. Yeah, right? Somewhere in Buffalo, that would be the closest, the most ideal. 
Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, you know, I could like, see that. In Buffalo or like um, who who else is up there? Boston is up there. But I'm talking about like they, they would have. To, have I think I want them to go to like a like a place that don't got a team. Like Buffalo, like I, they the closest to them. Where is Toronto? Right. I can't even think. It's on the right or the left side. If you look at America. If you look at America, it's to the, to the right. Yeah, what time? Isn't it to, up to the right? To, right? I think so. Up to the yeah. right, right? Yeah, I think so. so. Okay, yeah, so that's like New York. I just always assumed. Yeah, I, you know, that's a good question. <laughs> yeah. I, never, I, I think so. I assumed it was right there. <laughs> it's, just, it's just going to the main. It's going to the main, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Just it's go ahead. It's right there. <laughs> it's up there. Uh, right there. Antonio Brown destroyed a security camera before his first game as a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. Um, he escaped charges being filed on him. Uh, what? Comments on Antonio Brown other than him just being a dickhead. When did this happen? See, I'll, I'll <laughs> so not random, right? no football. This happened, this happened before oh. his first game. It just came out that it happened before his first game. We thought I hadn't, and I was about to give him props because I hadn't heard anything about him causing any trouble or whatever. He balled out last game and the game before that. And then f- today it comes out that um, he destroyed a security camera and in the in the community that he lives in in Tampa. And the only reason why the lady said she didn't press charges because she didn't want him to retaliate against her staff, like the security guards or whoever it was. So, so this no, is Antonio being Antonio again. He's gonna be out of the league again pretty soon. Wait a minute. I, this is what I want to say. Definitely uh, Antonio Dickey being Antonio Dickey. But but yeah. what I want to say is this. But I, it, it, it annoys me because. Even here in Philly, I hear personally about athletes in this city doing even dumber things. I just think it's just a magn- it's, it's just a magnifying glass on him right now. You know what I mean? He's not doing anything other uh, that I feel like a lot of athletes, you know, don't do. You know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I mean I but he but, he, but he, but he got a he got a he got a, a a target on his back, and not even a target. I don't want to say a target. He's under a magnifying glass. And he yeah. needs to know that. And the stuff that, that, that he's doing now makes him the biggest dickhead because of the fact that you know you're on thin ice and you're doing this. <laughs> right, exactly. That's what yeah. doesn't make sense. People are me. looking at you. People are yeah. looking at you, and you're on thin ice. And, and they, I mean, they low-key didn't even want to bring you in. Hey, what's up with Tom Brady, man? Like, Tom Brady going to get my guy off of what, man? Like, what's... He can't know. call... Like, Tom, Tom Brady is damn near a cop this, at this point. Like, he can get you off... <laughs> You know, I, yeah, I know. Lawyers. Yeah. Like, I, they, I, they don't know he'd be with Tom Brady. Like, what's up with these guys? I don't man? get it. We all know um, what's happening with all that, man. Right. Just another player then. Uh, <laughs> just, just on the ball. Just on the ball. Uh, the Madeira uh, vaccine has come out. Uh, they have come out and said that the vaccine is 95% effective. We talked about this a little bit last week on the podcast oh, from the Pfizer, from the Pfizer I vaccine. Need, I need, I need are y'all, the question is, are y'all fucking with this vaccine when it come out? What you mean? I need 100%. The way my luck works, I'll be the 5%. No, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm, the I'm way good. my luck works, I'm the 5%. I need 100%. <laughs> I need a, I'm going to get the vaccine. Yeah, that's what, I, I'm gonna I, let y'all. I, I I'm gonna let them years. do it. And I need two years. Give it to Canada. Give it to Canada. Give it to Canada. I have a time over ten years. Yeah, we should we should gift it to Canada and let them. Yeah, let somebody else try y'all, it out. Y'all, y'all go ahead. I just don't want to be. The, I just don't want to be y'all guinea pig, bro. Like I don't want to be the guinea pig. This is too many conspiracies. It's too many conspiracies. It happened too fast. Like they thought they said, oh, right after the election. Like two weeks after the election. Yeah. And I and I, I watched 100%. I watched too many movies. Like I just watched the John where they put something in a vaccine that everybody wanted and they and they was just killing the whole planet. Yeah, like, man, I'm I gonna, forget I'm, what movie that was. I, 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 I just let everybody I, I, know the bugs be taken care of first. I, I, yeah. I'm kind of I feel disrespected that they would even tell us it's 95%. Like, who the, who do y'all think y'all are? Y'all lie to me. Yeah. Lie to me next time. Don't you dare tell me 95%. Like, who do you? I'm good. Well, give me hundred percent. The first one actually here's the thing. The first one to me was the one with Pfizer, I think it was. That, that, was, that was the one that was more believable. You had, it make, was. you had to make sure that it was at a minus, minus, minus temperature. Yeah. That, like, it was impossible. Yeah. It just it just came out. 90% is it, that's a great number. Now, that's what but now this one it's like it's like it's like, all right, yo, this is the real scientific one. This is the one that if you got this one, try it. That's one. I'm good. They, so what they doing is over the counter. I mean, am, am I pulling the CD? So, so pretty much, you can you can take it, the 
the way that they're making it that you could take it at any doctor's um, place because the refrigerator is the kind of the, the normal doctors have. So you. Can oh, okay, it. okay. Yeah, because it doesn't have to be kept in extreme temperature or something like that. Right. And that's no, I'm gonna just stick with the face mask. Yeah, I'm good. I, I'm good. Um, last, <laughs> last one. <laughs> what you say? Good all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Um, last but not least, I don't know if y'all y'all follow Uberfax, but this is the uh, uh Uberfax that came out today. Um, mm -hmm. it said uh Michael Jordan once gave a waitress a five dollar chip for bringing him a drink. Wayne Gressley stopped the waitress, took the five dollar chip, and gave her one of the many hundred dollar chips on Jordan's side of the table and said, "That's how we tip in Vegas." So, moral of the story: not only is Michael Jordan the second greatest player of all time, but he's also the maybe the worst tipper of all time. Yeah. And that's how we he rap. Cheap. No, he looked cheap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it cheap. happened. Okay. Uh, and 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 that's one thing. That's another thing that he could learn from uh from Brown Brown. Brown Brown is generous. Okay. So Mike, you could take that lesson from Brown Brown. Okay. The real the yeah. real and true he, goat. He, he he's so generous that he might have passed his way out of three more that's not, oh, I love it. <laughs> he's so generous, might have passed his way out of out of a couple championships. Uh, uh, late game. You know what I mean? hey, how many arguments have you had? Don't ever just, <laughs> yo, we're not gonna me and this guy for, for years. For and, and years. I, and I'm proving years. right year by no, no, year. I want to say this, like though. This I want to be on record. <laughs> I haven't been back on since. since I want to go on a record and say LeBron James is the greatest basketball player of all time. Yes, he is. Oh, wow. Yes, yes he is. He's but the Michael Jordan, Michael, <laughs> but Michael, no, Michael, Michael Jordan, hold. But Michael Jordan has the, the greatest sports legacy thing. of all time. Michael Jordan got the got a better career. I agree. I agree. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no, I think LeBron James has an even bigger. He has a broader career, but I just think Michael Jordan has a greater sports legacy. I can yeah. I can agree with that. I can agree with but, that. But, but LeBron James has a sports, sports story too. Like, like, yeah, three like, years, skip a year, three years. Yeah, yeah. Stop. I so can agree. Is definitely the greatest <laughs> basketball player of all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's it. It's 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 a wrap. Uh, butter and biscuit. Thank you so much for coming through today. Um, please tell the people where they can follow and support anything that y'all got coming out coming up soon. All right, y'all. Well, you can follow me on Instagram at butter b and b. That's b u t t a dot b and b. You can Dope. follow me everywhere at b i z k i t b n b. Dope. Dope. We'll do that and check that out and check out the uh, Daddy the... Out Now featuring Trap Beckham. Say it again. Say it again. Daddy Out Now featuring Trap Beckham. Go check that out. Uh, you want it right after I get off here. Uh, Lynn, yeah. where where can the people follow you at? Oh, uh, nowhere right now. <laughs> nowhere right now. Nowhere. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, no. Uh, Instagram, I guess. Lynn underscore yeah. architect. Um, but um, yeah, I, I ain't too social these days, man. But um. Yo, shout out to my brother, getting married, man. Happening. I will be out in LA for that, baby. It's, it's I happening. I will be out in LA for that. It's happening now. We're gonna edit out that day because we don't want everybody to know that day. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. Cut it off. That's fine. We're gonna Cut edit it that out. Cut it off. Cut it off. That's off. fine. Cut it off. Cut it off. Uh, uh, but yeah, yeah, we yeah. don't, we doing yeah, that. Um, y'all can follow me at Joe Connor thirty three <laughs> everywhere. Make sure you follow at Backstage Sports on everything. Make sure you go like and subscribe on the YouTube and turn your notification on so y'all know. When we drop a video, yeah. um, my splice pack came out today. Unbeknownst to me, they told me it was dropping in December. It's out today, so um, go check it out. It's the uh, low, uh, right. the low five Philly pack. So go. I, why am I getting a, 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 a finger? You helping me click drag and droppers, man. Oh my god! Listen, bro. Hey, congratulations, we, bro. We I'm in a pandemic, and I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm, I'm, trying to the, the, <laughs> I'm trying to keep the train on the track. And I'm trying to keep the train on the track. I'm against the system. I am proud and of you. Still, listen, up, still on my bullshit. Get your bag. <laughs> listen, get your bag. Listen, <laughs> listen. You know real, what these real, 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 no real, real producers will <laughs> never be replaced. But these wannabe guys is gonna make us some money, okay? Get your bag, bro. So, so they we take it, they taking all our slots. Uh, listen, they, they <laughs> no, they never, they never gonna replace the real producers like the ones that we have on on the show today. Um, <laughs> so I'm I'm we trying to keep the train on the track, and that's one of the positive things that came out of the pandemic for me is just production. I just got heavy heavier and heavier in the production, and start recording stuff mm. from the house. Got the chance to work on the pack. So check out the pack. It's the fully low fi low fi pack. Um, and it's out today. Check it out. Send me the pack. Send me the pack. I'm at all. Check it out where? Check it out where, bro? I can't. On Splice. I nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we need, I need a link, bro. You got to put a link in the group chat, bro. 
Yeah, yeah. promote it. We'll promote it. <laughs> dope, dope. Dope. I was, uh, yeah, I'll send you a link, bro. I'll send you a link. Okay. All right. Also, to y'all, um, personal side note, I was serious about the Tyson fight thing. I'm really doing it. I'm at the oh, yeah, yeah. So, I'm, I'm, listen, I'm, I'm, uh, it's on the 28th. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna send y'all, I'm gonna send y'all a joint for it. Listen, you yeah. never know. Lin, fly through, Lynn. Let's you go. You never know. I, I do man, show up to LA. Yeah. I'm go to LA. Oh, 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 birthday on the 27th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, hey, okay, oh, that's your dad. Your dad birthday the 21st, right? Yeah, yeah, on the 21st. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fly out, happy man. Happy birthday, bro. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, fam. Uh, you in LA right now? Huh? You in LA? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it. Destin. Oh, it's Destin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's me, like, oh, the Mandalorian, yo. Period, period. <laughs> uh, this has been a special Philly edition of the Backstage Sports Podcast. Until next time, be safe and be great. Peace. Backstage Sports.